Hello, Aries. We have a soulmate screw up that is returning. Let's see if they could dig themselves out of this hole that they've put themselves in. Welcome in, Aries, to your reading for the first half of November 2020. We're at the end of the year, guys. We made it. Let's see what theme we have showing up for you for the first half of the month. I'm curious to see because there was a lot of soulmate twin flame reunions coming up in my readings for the second half of October. Let's see if there is a sign of that coming up again. Steampunk priestess number seven. She came up a lot too. I recall this being a little bit about stumbling around in the dark, but being given. Okay. Yes. It, this was the one with the poem. It says one, two, three, trust what you see. Four, five, six, the truths behind the tricks. Seven, eight, nine, clarity divine. You shall see what you need to see at the perfect moment. It shall be. So this is basically a patience card, which is what no one wants to hear. I know that. I know that it's, 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 one of my least favorite words. Um, but this is where while walking the path, the next step will be revealed and only the next step. Everything else you won't be able to see. This is a test of trust. Okay. Kind of, I'm getting that image of uh, Indiana Jones in the last crusades when he has to take a leap of faith. And he has to just step out into what looks like falling down this chasm. But yet there is the path there. I'm not saying jump off a cliff, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's, it's, it's a process. It's a opportunity to trust. Okay, we have. Oh, yep. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon and Sag. Yeah. You're, the only way you're going to get any understanding of this is when you go through the thing and then look back and see the whole picture. If you, tr you can even try to step out and look at it now as, okay, what did the last step do for me? It helped me evolve this far. So now I can move on to this next thing, but I don't know what's coming next. But so far, if I look at the bigger picture that has already occurred, I have come a long way. Okay, let's see the last we have to round out this theme for Aries. We have purity, release, success. Nice. Okay. So this, this is a lesson to learn. This is the next leveling up once you learn this particular lesson to trust. Do not try to control, just trust. All right, let's see what this theme has to do with. For Aries, for the first half of November 2020, please. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. King of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Five of Swords. The Lovers. Okay. So this feels like you don't see the path that's actually leading you to the union that you want. Because this, this is, this is spouse. Okay. Okay. 
and you've got two fives on your side. So there's those those are those are change numbers. There's this is this could be change in thoughts and patterns, and five of pentacles change in the physical world. What is it you are leaving? Okay, let's 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 start with the Queen of Pentacles. Let's clarify that. Because your person, your person looks like they're totally fine. <laughs> um, like this is their wish. They've been working on, they've been wanting this loving relation, working on that. But you've got, you're leaving. Hmm. Let's see. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please. Okay. Six of Cups. Four of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this was the opportunity to reunite with, for you to reunite with someone special. All right, look, see. There it is. Divine opportunity, four, four of cups, to reunite, six of cups, ten of pentacles, with, with your happily ever after. What happened? What happened? Oh. Oh. Nine of wands, five of cups, ace of swords, temperance, Ace of Pentacles, Death, Four of Pentacles, Hermit, Ten of Cups. Wow. Ace of Cups on the bottom. Wow. Okay. So it looks like there was some immaturity here in the past that there's a lot of regret around. And this is on this I'm seeing this on your side here Aries it, it always could be flipped and this could be your person but I'm reading this is you this is your person and this is the situation it's like you your person wanted this kind of stability that husband wife level okay and you left so this is telling me that there was this divine opportunity to reconcile for this happily ever after and you walked i'm feeling a lot of shame here I'm feeling a little bit of here but a lot a lot of it here and the truth is usually this knight of wands is the more immature energy but i'm getting it as something more concise than that i'm getting this as you weren't ready That's the truth. That's the truth. You weren't ready. So, because you weren't ready. <laughs> bigger energy stepped in to mold you into something new in the 3D. New beginning to shine a light on these previously resistant ways. Okay. And it's in the universe transforming, balancing and transforming you literally face of pentacles, literally <laughs> it's going to set you up for happiness. So it's not 10 of pentacles this time. It's going to be 10 of cups, happy life, happy wife kind of thing. Okay, let's see what's going on with your person. Now that we know what happened up until this point. But now you're showing up as the King of Swords. That's an improvement, going from Knight of Wands to King of Swords. That, that, is, that is a leg up. Hmm. So this feels like, okay, this King of Swords is now very clear. This is, a, this is something that competition, no competition going to win. They understand the changes 
They understand that you understand the changes that you need to make. And I always like this King of Swords because he's got that determined little mean mug kind of <laughs> expression on his face. Like, I'm going to do this. <laughs> and he's choosing because he's gone through this right here, this transformation, this death temperance hermit. Okay. And so now that's taken him from the Knight of Wands to the King of Swords. And now he's like, all right, I want this with this person. Now I know. What do I do? And this process is what could have very well felt like this steampunk priestess. This, you could only see the next step. It's not a fun path because you are being sculpted into a higher version of yourself. Oop, Queen of Pentacles again. This person really wants this. Okay, let's, yep. Oh. Oh, yep. Okay. This is a side quest. Yeah, things blew up. Walked away. Made a choice to learn something new. Put the burden down. Hermit, again. Six of swords. Okay. Moving on. Okay, hermit twice. That's great. Putting down the burden of how things were before, moving on to smoother waters, based on new discoveries. That is divine knowledge. That's literally the hermit is being divine because he usually has the lantern. He is a sage who, with divine knowledge, who is allowing divine knowledge to guide him out of the darkness and into the light. Okay, Nine of Cups, Eight of Pentacles again, Four of Cups, World. Okay, this Eight of Pentacles, yep, Five of Cups, Queen of Cups, they got their heart broken and they're healing it. Lovers, Page of Swords, Ten of Swords. Double energy, ten of pentacles, king of swords again. Hmm. Let me see. Star. Strength. Okay. Death on the bottom again. Empress, emperor. Wow, guys. <laughs> Death, empress, emperor, lovers. This is beautiful. It may not feel beautiful to you, given this that you've been going through, but that is beautiful. I'm going to leave that right there. So your person may have tried to push this before you were ready, and it caused this to blow up. There was the choice point on your end to learn something new, to put down the burden of how you viewed relationship before. Or how, the, or how the past was between you two. Put that down. Learn something new. New way of doing relationship. <sighs> yeah, I am getting that they... It's like they tried to push it on you. They are sorry for that. Their heart was hurt in this. In, in your leaving. Queen of Cups. Four of Swords. But the truth remains the same. Lovers, page of swords, ten of swords, devil, ten of pentacles. They do have fear if this will ever come back or not. But it's what they want. They are very, very clear and very determined to heal this connection with you. Okay. And to move, move things forward. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to dig this into the extended because I, I, I want to know what happens. So I'm going to go into, um, 
near future and final outcome, as well as messages from Spirit about this connection and timing. So if you're interested, guys, feel free to uh, select the link below for the extended, and I will see you over there. Bye. Ooh.